energy drinks. Great for putting a little more pep in your step, but what actually happens to your body after drinking them? Let's take a look at the facts. The average energy drink contains between 80 to 250 milligrams of caffeine, depending on if you only drink the recommended serving size or the whole can. A single cup of coffee is only about 100 milligrams of caffeine. Depending on the brand, most energy drinks contain, on average, 32 grams of sugar. That's eight teaspoons of sugar, the equivalent to eight sugar cubes. And what about sodium? The median amount of sodium in an eight ounce drink is 123 milligrams, three times the amount in soda. But there are other added chemicals to consider. Ginseng, taurine, B vitamins, all harmless in moderation, but when consumed in excessive amounts and mixed with sugars and caffeine, it can make for a dangerous combination. Here's what happens to your body in 24 hours after guzzling an energy drink. In the first 10 minutes, the caffeine begins to be absorbed into the bloodstream, raising your heart rate and blood pressure. After 20 minutes, your blood sugar spikes and sends your liver into overdrive, absorbing mass amounts of sugar into the bloodstream and converting it to fat. By the 40 minute mark, the caffeine is fully absorbed and at peak levels of effectiveness. It blocks the adenosine receptors in your brain, preventing drowsiness, and this is when you're at your most alert. It's also around this time that your brain increases dopamine production, giving you a feeling of pleasure. Heroin does the same thing, by the way. So now you're on a wonderful sugar high of happiness and energy for the next few hours, right? Well, not exactly. By the first hour, energy levels start to dip and drowsiness will start creeping back in. You're literally experiencing a sugar crash. By hour six, your body is still working to absorb the high levels of caffeine, even though the effects have long worn off. In fact, the caffeine won't be able to work its way out of your system until the 12 hour mark. Fast forward to hour 24. In the last 12 hours without caffeine, your body has started to experience withdrawal symptoms, including headaches, fatigue, and irritability. So you consume another energy drink, and the cycle continues. Unfortunately, as your body adapts, you'll have to drink more and more of these to get the same effect. So unless you want to send yourself into cardiac arrest, make sure you take a look at the ingredients and consume them in moderation.